This is the latest project from Daniel Scheinert, one of the people who brought you The Swiss Army Man. A really weird and peculiar movie that I actually liked quite a bit. But this one's not written by him, it's written by first time screenwriter Billy Chu. However, if you've seen Swiss Army Man, you kinda know what sort of tone to expect here. Now that being said, this one's a very different movie, but still essentially a dark comedy. And it still has some elements that are a bit out there, let's just put it that way. Although not quite as absurd as Swiss Army Man. It's also a movie that, well, the less you know about it going into it, the better the experience is, in my opinion. So I'm gonna be extra careful not to give away very much as far as some of the details of the plot goes. However, the title does give away the first part of the movie. And it's essentially about a group of 30 some year old guys from the deep south. Who are hanging out, playing in a garage band, getting drunk, having fun. But then something obviously goes wrong, hence the title of the movie. But the audience isn't shown what exactly happens, only the end result, the death of Dick Long. Which let's be honest is a ridiculous name, but it sorta hints at the tone this movie goes for. But that's more or less the jumping off point, where it all starts and the story is set in motion. And the movie is basically about these guys trying to cover up what happened. Meanwhile, the local police force are on the case too, and it becomes the weirdest game of cat and mouse I've seen in a while. Because, well, these guys aren't exactly the sharpest knives in the drawer. They're actually extremely incompetent. But the local police force isn't much better either, so they're both struggling to get anything done. And watching these people fumbling around was genuinely painful and frustrating. Because you can't believe how poorly both sides handled the situation. But it's also the source of a lot of the comedy, which as I said is sort of dark and delivered with a straight face. There aren't a lot of jokey jokes here and the whole premise could have been approached very differently too. You could have very easily made this into a silly slapstick comedy, which this very much isn't. And I just loved how they handled the tone and the comedy in this thing. But what's the most astonishing to me is how they managed to get some of the more serious and emotional stuff to work. Because this movie is pretty ridiculous and I'm intentionally leaving out some of those ridiculous details. But trust me, it gets weird and considering the kind of stuff that goes on in this, I genuinely don't know how they managed to get the more serious parts to work effectively. How they managed to get me to connect emotionally to some of these characters. Because it really shouldn't work, but it does, so the balancing of the tone in this is absolutely fantastic. It's done pretty much to perfection and yeah, I'm a bit in awe of how well that was handled. And overall I thoroughly enjoyed this, I thought it was funny but also kept me guessing. However, then somewhere in the later part of the movie when what actually happened in the beginning is revealed. And after that there's just not a whole lot of tension or intrigue left. And the movie just sort of started to fizzle out there toward the very end. It just kind of slowly wraps everything up and I wouldn't say it was bad. It just seemed to lose a bit of steam, some of that energy there toward the very end. And I honestly don't know what they could have done differently to fix that either. So I didn't love that part, but honestly that's my only real complaint about this one. With that being said, because of how weird it gets and some of the subject matter it deals with, this is a very difficult movie to recommend. Especially to the average viewer. But I will say this, if you love dark comedy and have a bit of a twisted sense of humor, and don't mind things getting a bit out there, you'll probably enjoy this quite a bit. It's a very well executed movie that takes on subjects most filmmakers wouldn't touch with a 10 foot pole. And if you enjoyed Swiss Army Man, I think you'll enjoy this one as well. So yeah, maybe give this one a shot, or don't. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be fantastic. And if you'd like, you can also support me on Patreon or PayPal through the links in the description. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.